Hello and welcome. Let's play Europa Universalis 4. Our custom nation run. Let's see if we can unlock a few achievements. Idea guys. Orodin and uh, first come, first served. So we need to conquer Scandinavia and Britain. We need to have an income of 500 ducats and we need to own all provinces in America. Even the ones that are not colonized must be colonized. I'm thinking if I should um, completely annex these guys. But for that to happen, I probably have to. I probably have will have to reduce the army maintenance to the bare minimum. So let's go to this province. Just in case these guys manage to have um, to gain access, military access. Let's repay loans. Tempted to fabricate on these guys, but if they cut, if they catch us, this will wreck the, the alliance. Interesting, they are willing to be called to arms. If we give them territory. This is within our colonial range, so yeah. Let's do it. Can't I? So we are together in a war, but I don't have access through their territory. What the hell? Lovely. Just lovely. I'm glad they have access, but I don't. Waiting to be stuck wiped. So it's probably a good idea to simply peace out. Give me your money. These guys are gonna hate me because I'm not gonna give them not gonna give them anything. In of September. to grab some dosh
and quarterly stuff. We pay the loans, all of them. I'm gonna wait for the war exhaustion to tick down. For, for it to take down. Thinking about reducing the local autonomy. De decreasing it. That's probably not a good idea because we cannot handle handle a rebellion now. We are below the force limit. Let's hire another infantry. You are caught. Speed is up. Let's fabricate more claims. Zapotec. And let's score this stuff. Since we cannot attack anyone at this point, at no point paying the army. Well, maybe only to reinforce a bit. You can't reach that uh, trade node. Religious unity sucks. Use the dosh, but uh, the admin points are more important at this point. So these guys are probably going to be vassalized by by our allies. Have a, one shock, a guy with one shock. They're allied with um, whom? Guys over here. So we are gonna have to fight them. That's for sure. Fabricate another claim. For now. We 
we go. Um, events regarding the estates. Unfortunately, doesn't uh, really change. Um, clergy influence, but we can we can influence it by giving these provinces to the clergy. To try to grab. Some points and reduce the unrest. So let's let's uh, hire um, theologian, I guess. Demand some points. Gain mercantilism. In exchange for um, for Dosh, for for uh, yeah for Dosh. Or whose loyalty? I don't want to lose uh, thirteen ducats. Now the the these all these values will uh, slowly decay towards five towards five uh, fifty percent towards the middle. So you have a very high loyalty. Loyalty. This will slowly decay to decay to fifty. If you have a very low loyalty or or loyalties lower than fifty, it will slowly increase to fifty. So. We are actually only paying um, 13 ducats for one mercantilism. No, okay, I don't. Um, I don't want to spend the dosh. I'm gonna lose a little bit of uh, money with, with in trade, but it's it's very very small. Very small impact. It is up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go above the force limit. I'll probably remove this from the clergy and give it uh, to the nobility. Wow, they actually fully annexed him. Interesting. But uh, it sucks. Well, at least we'll have time to fabricate claims. Plus 20% national tax modifier is great. Keep fabricating claims.
I have no one rest, so I'm gonna decrease the the autonomy here. Soon we'll have military tech. Or we'll have a tactics advantage. These guys will be easy to kill because the rebels will spawn. We'll have the deck of um, our neighbor's kitsch. Fabricate more claims. Whatever. We actually can convert it, so let's do it. Trying to save some dosh. After I unlock the tech 4, I'm gonna beat him up, that's for sure. Whatever. Cancel the alliance. Get another claim. Probably will only um, be able to go to war with them through uh, their ally because now we have a truce. Okay, nice. Now we have a tactics advantage. Let's pump up the army maintenance. Damn that. Guess I have to pay the dosh. Okay, let's go beat him up. Hired, um, I was gonna hire the guy, disciplined guy, but uh, he's nowhere to be seen. Which sucks. Oh well. We have cavalry and um, a tactics advantage, so. There we go. Let's 
let's shift uh, consolidate for our regiments to fight better. I'm gonna pursue. Try to achieve a stack wipe. Can these guys declare war? Nope. Come on. Of course we won't achieve a stack wipe. Not anymore. Let's pursue. We can prevent him from turning troops. We're good. Where the hell are you going? Probably going over... Nope. Come on, give me a stock wipe. Awesome. So let's send this guy over there. And yeah, and now we have to prevent them. We can't uh, let them uh, recruit troops. We have to run around with um, uh, this, this um, regiment while we take the other provinces. Awesome. Let's move these guys over there. After we take these provinces, we'll start the sieges. We'll siege the forts. Let's prevent that uh, regiment from popping up. I'm gonna take a break. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.